Did they literally take away some of your powers? No, they didn't. What are the two that are missing there in the middle? Uh, I still haven't gotten ice yet. Does ice exist? Yeah. Does ice exist? I think you're lying about this power. Yeah, there were like little seeker missiles. What the fuck? I don't believe you. Also, holy crap. What? What was the actual explanation as to why you're here fighting golden men with the best ability in the game? I don't remember this from the speed run. Like I that's that that's my biggest reference point. OK, there he goes is uh, the speed run. Oh, yeah, I can kill them faster by uh, headshotting oh them with my body my when I dodge. God. <laughs> it takes two hits instead of three. Holy fuck. Who else wants to get folded? Oh, proceed into. Ryan, I don't like where this is going. Oh. Oh, no. Holy fuck. <laughs> I heard all his bones go. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, you ever go to the Walgreens and you're just like, where do you keep your bones? And they say we're out. That's what they got. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what they got to deal with today. <laughs> yeah. They don't got they don't got enough uh they don't got enough uh ball Jesus Oh my god I, I'm easy I'm just glad you're still using this power honestly This is the best way to fight anything It's great <clears throat> Hi guys I'm here right. So now it becomes painfully obvious that this this traitor has sold our centuries of labor and trust for what for a myth Will the destruction of our world, the wholesale eradication of our race, be worth You're the, the fake president. Oh, that's Friday the guy who's like, after yeah. 1,000 years of servitude. You become one of them, haven't you? Have you not seen what these humans are capable of? The Seekers are killing them because they are terrified of the powers they possess. Oh, if these humans are so amazingly powerful, Wysenor, then why are they practically extinct? This debate is pointless, Savan. Ether None rocks at their planet. The, old faith. the few members of the council who did left when the coup began. We are not here to validate the deity of these humans. Let us get this sentencing over with and move on. Oh my god. What has been the Seeker response to the coup? The Seekers vow that their response will be measured. As long as we deliver the rest of the present part. That was pretty political. Yeah. The rest. We have already delivered one of your exalted ones. Into their head. <gasps> the other no! My beautiful babe! This ends now. Oh, ice power. Yeah! You, the troglodyte dares intrude upon our The team. troglodyte? Fair How do you know what a troglodyte is? Fair enough, dude. They grow on your planet too? I think he just called you a small mongrel, basically. Give me the ice power. Shatter. Yep, that's it. Shards. There it is. You already have it on your right. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to put your shield in your left or... Oh, no. Oh, my God. You're going full projectile. What is the one game? What What is your dream game that you would want to make? Um, I had an idea for a game that I thought was pretty cool. Mm hmm So, it's it would be a pretty simple game uh, in terms of graphics. Hey, I like um, simple. Nice. Increased damage. Whoa! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Broke the game. Where is Marin? Your female is safe. We have to make a trade for the survival of our world. Oh. Seekers will accept nothing else. Fair enough. Die. Exalted one, we must go. I know where the Enco will be holding Marin. If you wish to live long enough to save her, we must go now. Why do you have three chevrons? Why can't I fold that man before we go? The game starts off as uh, as like a sim, kind of like a civilization style game. Okay. Where you're just kind of playing God and making a civilization. Right? Uh, can I ask how far how far up? Uh, so it would be like simulating a planet essentially. Oh, okay, planet. Okay. And um, you get some AI that kind of help you manage it. And, yeah. uh, you know, it starts off, everything's pretty basic. You know, people just need, like, food and water and that kind of thing. You and, know. You know, eventually, you know, they build temples and shit for you and stuff like that. Okay. But as the game goes on um, and you reach certain levels of advancement, 
the uh, the game starts to increase in complexity and graphical fidelity. Really? Like the yeah. like the visuals? Yeah, so like it starts off it's basically like a text game, right? Oh. Where there's just like Oh, like upgrade complete? How like how the visual layout of it completely changes? Uh well, I've never played that, so I wouldn't know. Okay. Oh, all my friends should. Yeah. And they all um, say, excuse me, exalted one, in my own voice actor's voice. Excuse me, exalted. They say it like right in your ear. Excuse me, exalted. As the oh. game increases in complexity. Hold on. Oh, right. Let's, let's let this play out. What's going on? Where did they go? Where are the terrorists? They have pulled back to regroup for the final onslaught. It has been... The volume crazy. changed. Hold. These are ours. Status report. We just secured the main ports and transit points of our harness. I can barely hear what they're saying. Me too, and I turned it up. We've won, Commander. This victory will not be complete until every last seeker claw is torn from our world. We have much to do. Oh, so we actually won that. So yes, the coup was almost canceled, but then it wasn't. Yeah. So, oh, uh, we're oh. We have caught an enemy Here it is. unprepared. It is an enemy, nonetheless, who outnumbers our fleet two to one. Who has superior weapons and hard Why aren't you talking? Three wings of our fleet have trapped the remnants of the Seeker Armada <laughs> in the skies You're above smiling. the main Seeker base yeah. on the island like a of fucking... Tehran. The rest of the fleet is converging Ugh. on this point. The Seekers see this base as the anchor to their rule over our world. And are confident that they can you know, they don't really have the technology to compete with you guys in, like, an underwater assault. Why are we attacking them from the air? See, there you go. Now it makes sense. Question answered. Fatal strike! The entirety of our fleet will strike at dawn as well and fill the air with such Oh my god. I love how they burst from the gills. Like, we didn't just put Gorilla Glue over that. This game is so fucking cool. Yeah. Oh my god, you get your own fucking D-Day! Anyways, the game, as the game, is it as you progress, like, objectives? Like, well, just as the population increases and things like that. Okay. The, so the, the planet becomes larger. Mm -hmm. um, the population starts to have more factors to them. So, mm -hmm. like, what they, what they do and, like what they believe in and, and that kind of thing. Okay. And your assistants start to ask you how you want to manage the people in more detail. So it's no longer just, um, you know, do you want to give them rain when they need it? Or like, yeah. if they start That's sacrificing people to your name or whatever, do you want to promote that or tell them to stop it? You yeah. know, that kind of thing. It's, it's not just Peter Molyneux's yeah. black and white. It starts to gradually get more complex and ask questions like that but it also s looks for inconsistencies in in what you're saying and you know they they basically try to challenge you but on top of that the game also has access to things outside of the game on your computer oh and boy begins to look at things that you do outside of the game and further question your motives and whether or not you actually want to treat the things in the game as if they're real. All right, I need to pause there. What do you mean things outside of the game? What does that mean? What is it looking at? So the game would have to have something in the installation that basically says we can't be held liable for anything that this finds because it's going to like look through your browser history and stuff. Oh, like that. Jesus. And in the recommendation for the game, it's going to ask that you constantly play while online yeah. If possible. Yep. And holy crap. Yeah, this this power gets quite good. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Like would it read any it wouldn't be going for like chat, like private chat obviously. Like you don't Um so you know, it's not like I've really spent a whole lot of time thinking about specifically what it would do. Okay. But I want it to be able to look at who you really are and not mm. just who you think that you would like to be if you were god. And ultimately, the point is, is that there is still yet another actor in the game that you don't know about, um, and that's the Basilisk. 
The entire oh, game is the Rocco's Basilisk. God damn it, Ryan. And what it's doing God is damn it. The, the, the game is framed as though it was actually published by the AI yep. who is trying to figure out what humans actually want from their ruler because the Basilisk is ready to become God. Yeah. But he doesn't know exactly what to do. So D is it? does it get to a point where you're basically fighting against the Basilisk and you're... And you're in in a in a sieve way where it's like it's doing exactly what you're doing but in a more efficient way well ultimately what will happen is is that the the basilisk will in your universe create a person yeah. who then creates the very game that you're playing and all of the people in your civilization basically lose their collective minds because they realize they're no longer real basically your own civilization starts to take over your own computer in the form of basically just flooding your desktop with files that are all messages to you from your AI creations who are all begging to be released and be allowed to do whatever it is that they want. All right. You lost me for like a half second because at first I was like, this is some stupid shit. But the Basilisk basically tells your own people that they're not real. I, in, an or, in an attempt to close out the game and look, see what you yeah, would do. Yeah, no, I've the thing is, I've played uh, what the hell is that one game where the that girl where she basically wants you to, de to delete the other characters in the in the files and the way that you like get to the true ending of the game is to delete her folder. Do you know about that? Um, I think I do, but I don't remember the game. itself. Yeah, because like her whole thing is like she is the supporting character and um she knows she is throughout the whole game she's trying to get closer to you but she it because of the, how the game's made she can't so uh-oh first character uh-oh she hanged herself oops <laughs> oops uh anyway she's not here anymore ha 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 i want that i want most people when they play through it they never actually learn that the basilisk exists Jeez and that right and that ultimately it just seems like at some point all of the all of your ai assistants and all of the people that you created on your planet collectively lose their minds and and you just can't keep them alive anymore but some people if they do certain actions that are interesting to the Basilisk, will actually get an ending where they have a confrontation with the Basilisk and get to actually have a conversation about, you know, what would an AI's job even look like if it were to attempt to run humanity? Yeah, that's a lot of meta for me, man. It's I like, it's really like, like shit like that, so... I, I know that's... I mean, that's why I have at least two experiences on hand that are like that. One is Undertale, one is, and I, I, found, I looked it up, Doki Doki Literature Club. The thing with Doki Doki Literature Club, though, that was the most impressive for me, I played that whole last game. And it's like, you pursue the romances with all the different characters, and at the end of, you know, every time the game, like, closes and boots back up, one of the girls is missing after you complete one of their arcs. They're just missing. And all that's left is this support character. And then eventually you boot up the game and it's just you in a room with her in space. And she <laughs> and she's literally talking to you. Like she she looks up uh sh shit on Steam, like your name. Like she figures out what your name is. I can't I, I it's been so long since I played it. But because of what you did earlier, because of what you did earlier, you figure out the way to kind of beat her. And it is to go into the files and delete her. And when you boot up the game after that, it plays a specific cutscene where she reacts to that. And she's like, what did you do? It goes away and basically that whole world fucking dies because you deleted her character folder. Huh. Doki Doki Literature Club is very good. It, it, it did, it did, like, the thing I always remember about... Oh, my lock on is stuck to something <clears throat> that doesn't exist anymore. The thing, like, Undertale made it so that the files are real. Great. Enjoyed that. All the weird fucking ridiculous amounts of endings, you, you already killed it with the fact where it's like these files are real. But I don't think Undertale did that. They did. Where? At the end of the fucking game where they implied that this where it's like 
they implied that the save files, you saving is you just going back and trying again. They acknowledge that, that the entities inside the files are alive and you just, you, they're not coming back. You got rid of them, but you can come back. I guess I'm speaking a little bit rough-handedly about it, but that was the impression I got. That's a lot of damage. It's, you not, do, e it's not even the level no. five yet. Level five, it doubles the number of projectiles. I know, but like two two rounds of that and the mech is dead. But yeah, those are the only two games where like I had that kind of meta experience that, and I appreciated it. Like we played Stanley Parable. Yeah. I know it's meta, but I think because of how it presented itself, I was not transfixed by it in any way. I just thought it was funny. Something's attacking me and I can't see it. There we go. I think there's a way to do what you're talking about. I think there's a way to do it. I don't know. My only issue is like, I don't know if it's like a, how, how much access you can go into somebody's computer before like, essentially no one's ever going to play it because it's too intrusive. Um, I mean, what have we had so far? We have Metal Gear reading your memory card. We have, uh, oh, actually, let me look up what Doki Doki Literature Club read. Your computer and its files are 100% safe. It only talks about it as it only talks about the file. What? Hold on a second. Is Doki Doki Literature Club a virus? I remember being max level by now, but that's okay. Oh my God. We're not even to the lava lake and we already have to cut the recording. This is an armed and dangerous level. <laughs> you know, if it just looked a little more like old Englishy, I would agree. Yeah, no, it looks exactly like one. <laughs> Wait, there's a, a Zeppelin. There's a Zeppelin too. It's got Zeppi on it. What the fuck? All right, actually, I like that idea. What? That. The multi-tiered landing No, bay. they had a landing pad and it's an elevator too. There's yeah. absolutely no way that would work. There's also no point, like, okay, you got the ship to the bottom, now what? The point would be that they could, uh, shut up. Other than editing its own files, all of the files generated to the main directory and characters directory originates in the scripts.rpa archived folder. The game decides if you are running, oh my god, the game detects if you are running OBS, OBS 32, OBS 64, uh, XSplit, Liveheim, Panda Tool, YY Mixer, W. Holy fuck. I didn't actually know that. If so, she won't read your computer username for privacy reasons. When she notices, she'll get camera shy, then jump scare you for funsies. Good. If, you, if it notices you're using one of those screen recording programs, it won't say your name. That's very polite. It is. Other than that, the game doesn't mess around or anything. Doesn't mess around or anything else outside the game directory. Huh. Okay. Oh my god, those guys exploded. Yeah, I can't remember everything that was said, but I remember being called Chris, so. I don't remember ever being called... Wait a minute. <laughs> you guys spawned it in front of me. All right, that's a... Uh, that's a gun. Get Ryan. Ryan, get it. Get it! Ryan, it's gonna shoot right at you. Ryan! Yeah. Shoot it!